scientists in Darmstadt are attempting to push the boundaries of known physics using laser technology. The advantage of a laser is that it produces light of a single wavelength. Felix is the name of one of the largest lasers in the world. It starts harmlessly, but the beam is continually made stronger until it reaches indescribable strength. You could describe the output as equal to that of a million high-capacity power stations. That's how much power Felix produces, but only for a brief period of time. With the help of Felix, the scientists in Darmstadt are striving to understand how matter behaves at extremely high temperatures and pressure levels. All of the light is concentrated onto a tiny point. A gold sphere, half the size of a pinhead. The great thing about light, in contrast to the particles we're made up of, is that I can concentrate as much light as I want onto as small a space as I want. Space is a problem we're continually confronted with. If the bus to work is full and there are too many people on board, that's it. No one else will fit. That's not how light works. Felix is directed onto an opening in the gold sphere with micrometer precision. Even vast quantities of light need very little space. Powering a laser like this takes a huge amount of energy. The scientists had first to find a way to store enough energy to fire the laser. The trick with all these laser systems is to try to concentrate energy in space and time in as high a quantity as possible. We start by taking energy from our energy provider's grid and storing it in huge capacitors. These capacitors take up several square meters of space. And these minutes worth of energy that are loaded into the system are compressed into milliseconds in the working laser system. And then we can focus this laser beam on an area the fraction of the diameter of a hair and concentrate it in a fraction of a billionth of a second. It takes about 10 minutes until Felix is ready to fire. Great safety precautions are taken. Even though this colossal beam of light is nothing more than a steady wave containing an infinite number of particles being sent through a long tube towards their target. But one should avoid being at the wrong place at the wrong time. One thing's certain, stay away from the gold sphere. Felix's beam of light heats it to a temperature 10 million times hotter than the surface of the sun. We create tiny stars in our laboratory for a few millionths of a second. So our scientist's job is to examine these little stars in this extremely short period of time. The energy stored in the huge capacitors is discharged into an extremely short-lived flash of light. That's why the output of the laser is so enormous, but the energy used is very little. If you look at the total energy used by the Felix laser, it's actually far less than what we get from toast with jam in the morning. It's just that we need three to five minutes to eat a piece of toast with jam if we aren't rushed, while the Felix laser unloads all this energy into a few billionths of a second, which allows us to reach higher temperatures, temperatures not reached in our stomachs, and thank God for that. These extreme experiments with light provide the researchers with a chance to get a better understanding of our universe.